Joining me today is Becky Burr, co-chair of the Cross Community Working Group on Framework Principles for Future Cross Community Working Groups. Thanks for taking the time to speak to us today, Becky. Pleasure. Could you take us through the background to this initiative? Sure. Um, we, uh, the, I am a member of the CCNSO Council um, and uh, for many years the CCNSO has used this cross-community working group approach to um, uh, resolve issues in advance of policy development and uh, we had gained uh, quite a bit of experience uh, with it and, and um, the GNSO started uh, using that, the approach as well and so we uh, collectively decided it would be good to look at um, uh, cross-community working groups that had worked really well and those that hadn't worked uh, quite so well and try to figure out what the differences were and develop some best practices for CCWGs to increase the likelihood that they would be successful. So the GNSO Council adopted the final framework on the 13th of October this year. Could you take us through the top, the key principles that are contained in the final framework? Well, they're uh, very commonsensical in a, in a way. Um, uh, the most important thing is to actually start by defining what you want to do, what your uh, goals are, what your output is likely to be, what the uh, scope of the topic is, how you will make decisions in the group going forward, and to agree uh, on that uh, through charter development um, that then all of the participating uh, SOs and ACs uh, can agree on, can review and then agree on. That's the most important thing, to decide in advance um, what, your, what your goal is and how you're going to operate um, and get buy-in from everybody. Um, obviously, uh, more recently, um, we've uh, noted the need to actually think about um, the kind of expenses and the support that you're going to need and lay that out in advance. Um, and then, uh, you know, to have really clear working methods that, um, that get there. The, the most important thing, though, really is the, is the charter is getting that charter right from the beginning. So with both the CCNSO and the GNSO now having adopted the final framework, how do you think the community will go about implementing and operationalizing the, the Well, I, I think that um, uh, people are beginning to look at the outcome, look at the final recommendations that have been adopted, and, um, and then go back and look at, at ongoing uh, CCWGs to, to uh, see whether um, they've really got that, the, the points covered. Um, the, the, the recommendations are, they're not mandatory, they're not written in stone, there's the need for um, flexibility because every CCWG is a little bit different. The other thing is, um, I believe that when people start talking about collective work, uh, they're going to have this checklist to kind of think, is this the right vehicle? Is a CCWG the right vehicle? Should we be having some kind of birds of a feather discussion group instead? Um, uh, but it, this will serve as a checklist to uh, help people decide whether the CCWG is the right vehicle and then to uh, sort of go about setting it up um, and, uh, you know, varying the application where it makes sense to do that, but um, it, it really is a sort of a checklist. Well, Becky, thanks for taking us through the work of the CCWG and have a great week here in Hyderabad. Thank you very much.